Are you looking to service your installed machine base and support your customers remotely? Grant me a few minutes to show you how E1 allows you to do that. Let's have a look at a typical maintenance issue. On one side we have this smiling machine. It is installed at a customer side, maybe far away, possibly abroad. The machine is driven by an Allen Bradley PLC connected to the world by our E1 state-of-the-art communication tool using the internet to replace slow modems and their high hired line cost. On the other side we have Tom, an experienced service engineer. When the machine needs a fix or an upgrade, he is the one who knows how to help. But he cannot travel everywhere all the time, can he? Unless he uses the internet. Don will use his familiar Rockwell Automation RS Logix interface just as if he was having a local connection to the PLC. He will have a seamless access to the remote machine across broadband internet securely connected through a VPN tunnel and the talk to m service. This hands-on video will show you how it happens in real life. Assuming the talk to m account and the E1 unit have been installed and configured, these subjects are addressed separately. Step 1. How to open your secure connection. Start eCatcher by double-clicking its icon on your desktop. Log in into your talk to m account with the credentials that you have received. eCatcher displays a list of E1 created in your account. Some are visible on the network, they have a green icon. Some have a red alarm clock icon, these are E1 fitted with a cellular modem, some not, they have either no icon at all or a red icon. Select the relevant uh, E1 in the list, this one is ACE cogeneration, and uh, click on the connect icon. After a while, your E1 appears in the active connection list here above, and this shows that your VPN tunnel has been created. Step 2. How to map your PLC with RS links. While eCatcher and your talk to m connection are still open, start RS links by double-clicking its icon on your desktop. From the menu, select Communication, Configure Drivers. In this window, select the Ethernet row and click Configure. This opens a list of IP addresses to be mapped by the driver. Click Add New. Enter the IP address on which the Allen Bradley PLC can be reached. For a serial connected PLC, this is the E1 LAN address, our case. For an Ethernet connected PLC, this will be the address of the Ethernet adapter of the PLC. Click OK. Close the Configure Driver window. Now again from the menu, select Communication RS Who. Check that the relevant IP address is mapped by the driver. Close RS Links. Step 3. How to go online with RS Logix. While your eCatcher and your talk to m tunnel remain open, start RS Logix by double-clicking its icon on your desktop. Open the project corresponding to your PLC and click Communications, Who Active. Your PLC will appear in the Who Active window. Click Go Online. Allow enough time for RS Logix to establish the connection. RS Logix checks whether your offline and running programs are matching. If not, you can synchronize them upwards or downwards. After synchronization, you are online, ready to work with your remote PLC. By now, I'm sure you know how easy it is. Make sure you watch our other interesting videos on our YouTube channel E1 TV. Thanks, bye.